Hello everyone, Sarah with you today for Technique Tuesday here at A Cherry on Top's YouTube channel. This month we are focusing on Traveler's Notebooks. I love Traveler's Notebooks. I use them quite often. I usually do two a year and in that Traveler's Notebook I document small stories. So things that I want to write about, uh, activities and things when the, where the stories are more important than maybe the one photo I have of the <laughs> story, uh, those kinds of things, especially when the photos aren't like super nice, but the story is important and I have lots of journaling to tell. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to be working with 49th and Market's Nature Study Collection, and I'm going to start by cutting down this beautiful ledger paper so that I have lots of room to write on. These are going to be the background pages for my spread today. I'm going to ink them up using Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink. And I'm going to start by kind of going through my embellishments. So I have lots and lots of embellishments for this collection. And I'm just going to go through. I especially wanted to look at this sheet of rub-ons because I was hoping I could find a couple of things that I could use to help tell my story and to also use almost like a title. And I'm definitely going to be able to find that on this page of Rubbons. This collection has a very outdoorsy feel, but we're actually going to tell the story about being indoors. So uh, just know that it's a little, it's versatile. You can use it for both, but it does definitely have like an outdoor slant to it. And I am going to make it work for my photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim out the rub-ons that I think I'm gonna be able to use for my spread today. I went through the ephemera and chose a couple pieces that I'm going to use for my spread. I want to create a, a tip out and kind of have my journaling hidden under my photo. I'm also keeping to the shades of like some greens and some blues. I want to make sure to include those colors because in my photo that's really the only colors that are there. I took a little strip of that paper that I used to cut for my background and I created a torn edge. I'm going to go ahead and put that torn edge down the right side and then I'm going to take the little bit that's left and it's going to be the absolute perfect size to put across the bottom of the facing page and I inked all of this up using the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink as well. This little file folder from the ephemera pack is going to be perfect both as a background and home for my photograph as well as the flip out element, the tip out element that I really want to include on this spread. To create my tip out element, I'm going to use the fabric tape from the Nature Study Collection. There are, I think, five of them in here. And I'm gonna pull them all out and just kind of decide which one I like the best. I'm gonna go with the thin kind of gingham looking one that is a bit orange. It's just nice and warm and I, I liked it. It was at a really good width for what I wanted to do. So I'm going to start this tip out by placing a strip of this fabric tape along the left side, making sure that I have a good bit of that file, fo file folder ephemera piece underneath and also attach it nice and tight to the background paper. Next, I am going to take an X-Acto knife and just make a little slit across the top and bottom. And I did get my head in here just a little bit. And what's that gonna do? What that does is it's gonna help me to be able to open this tip out completely. Then I'm gonna match the fabric tape up so it looks seamless and I'm going to 
finish my hinge by adhering the fabric tape to the inside. You can see how I'm doing this here so that it is seamless. And I'm giving it a really good press down because this fabric tape is repositionable. And so what you wanna do, if you want it to hold securely, you need to push it down into the cracks and crevices and really burnish it into your paper. Once you do that and then kind of let it dry a little bit, almost like you would let glue dry, it holds really, really well. But at first, like when you first do it, it's repositionable and it will come up quite easily. So the inside of this tip out is where I'm going to put all of my journaling. I'm going to just take some of the, one of the sets of rub-ons and I'm going to also grab a die cut label and I think I grab a mushroom and a butterfly and I'm just going to put a little bit of embellishment at the top and bottom of this tip out. And other than the journaling and the date stamp, the left side of my spread is done. You can see my journaling and the uh, date stamp on the close-ups, which will be at the end of the video. For the right side of my page, I wanna add these lovely rub-ons. So I have this one that says Seek and Find, which goes along with my journaling and is a really great uh, sentiment for this particular story. Um, I'm gonna use the little details, which is going to act uh, quite appropriately for my journaling. I also have some of these fun little book pieces for the from the rub-on sheet that I'm going to use as well. I also want to go ahead and pull in a little bit more of the greens and blues that uh, are in my photo. I want to have them be on the right side as well so I just took these little color block rub-ons and I'm going to use them across the top and the side. When I get to this point, I want to make sure to add my tags to the bottom and I don't want to um, hide any of the rub-ons underneath the tags. So once I get these in place, I'm gonna stop and work at on those tags across the bottom. I apologize if you can hear the rain outside my window. I feel like my brand new microphone is picking it up and if it is, I apologize, but also it's a lovely sounding rain. So uh, maybe just lay back and enjoy it. <laughs> All right, I am adding these three tags into place and I'm glad that I stopped where I did because you can see how close the tags are. I tucked the two plain ones underneath and put the one with the butterflies on top. And now I'm gonna add some staples across the top of the tags for a little bit of a texture and interest. Once I had the tags in place, I realized I had a little bit more room that I could add another couple of rub-ons to this page. So that is what I'm going to do. To finish this spread up, I'm just going to adhere it to the inside of my book. When I adhere my pages into my traveler's notebook like this, I try to get it as close to the outside edge as possible. That way the tip out will function uh, really well and it will also mean that the binding won't get too chunky too quickly. And here is all of the close-ups. This 49th and Market Nature Study Collection is quickly becoming a new favorite. I love how this tip out turned out. You can see it right here with all of the journaling in place. And I even added a little butterfly on the inside. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And I will see you again next month for Technique Tuesday. Bye.